Hey, happy Tuesday. I'm sorry I didn't post anything last night. I was kind of down last night. I wasn't feeling too good. It was just one of those days, you know, like when you're when you're on a new job and you just have a day where you just feel kind of discouraged and you just don't feel great. That was me. And it really kind of hit me after I finished the video about the group project in college for the other channel. And it just hit me after that. Like I was just so, I don't know. I just felt discouraged last night. I was just not in a great mood. I had a good day today. And Boop is in the bathroom again with the, uh, the uh, tape measure. Look at this. She likes to click the end of the tape measure on the floor because it makes a sound. Boop. And she's just purring away. Are you happy? It won't work on the carpet, Boop. Yeah, no, it doesn't work on the carpet. There you go. I'm getting tired. She's been doing it for about five minutes. Boop. Hey, Boop. Am I distracting you? It won't work in here, kitty. I think she's afraid I'm going to take it away. <laughs> hey, cat. <laughs> I think I'm distracting her by standing here. <laughs> nah, she's tired. Yeah, are you tired? I'm tired. She's tired. So yeah, I I had a good day today. Um, things were good. I'm still learn. I'm still learning a lot. It's like, my lord, there is a lot to learn on this job. I mean, it's totally different. It's nothing I've ever done before. Um, and I, you know, I, I feel pretty overwhelmed some days, and my brain is full. And you know, some days are definitely better than others. And today was a today was a good day. Um, so it'll get better. Sorry, my allergies are killing me. <coughs> it's, there's a lot of pollen or something in the air, and it makes me cough. And it's driving me crazy. Whew, I don't know what in the hell. I don't know why we still have pollen in the air, but we do. I don't know what it is now, but I was outside earlier, and it just it just plagues me. Anyway, um, Tomorrow I'm going to do on my other channel a video showing the stuff I got at the church yard sale. We got some really cool stuff there. And I was thinking that it was this week that I had to make the tank cake. But actually I looked at, I was talking to my son and I was looking at the calendar. And it's next week that I need to make it, not this week. Which is good because I have something I have to do right after work tomorrow and Friday. So I'm sitting here like, when am I going to make that cake? And thinking, well, we have to do it. I'm going to have to do it Thursday. But I don't need it until next week, so that's good. <laughs> I don't have stuff right after work two days next week, but I do this week. So that was actually kind of a relief because I was sitting here going, I don't know when the hell I'm going to make that cake. I don't have time to make it. <laughs> so that is a huge relief. So um, that'll be next week for my, my son's birthday. He wants a cake that looks like a tank. I made one for his older brother eight years ago for his 10th birthday and I got to go back and look at pictures of it. I mean, I have a general idea of what I did. It's nothing fancy. If you are a, you know, a professional cake person, it will be violently offensive to you to see me make this cake because it will not be professional. Nothing about it will be professional. It will be, it will be horrible, but it will be made with love and my son hopefully will like it. And that's really all I'm worried about anyway. <laughs> So he said he wants me to make another one just like the one that his brother had. And it was it was rough too. So this one will probably also be rough. I don't care. Yeah, so my elbow itches. <laughs> so nothing much is going on. I mean, I you know, I'm just working every day. And uh, has anything at all happened? Well, the reunion went well. Um, 
I was trying to think. I have some pictures that I meant to upload to, we have a, a, a Facebook group for our family and I was going to upload those pictures and I, I need to do it tonight because I keep forgetting to do it. Um, the only other aggravating thing I've had going on is, um, my prescriptions. I have two prescriptions that I wanted to get transferred. So I have Express Scripts now, which is a mail order prescription service that I have through my job and it's super convenient and it's, it's, you know, it's very cost effective. It's, it's really great. So I wanted to transfer, I have these two prescriptions and I wanted to get them transferred to Express Scripts. I didn't think that would be hard. I mean, Express Scripts is a huge company. I thought, I'm sure I'm not the first person to do this. Like, trans, because one is at Walmart Pharmacy and one is at Costco Pharmacy. And I thought, how hard can it be to just get those two prescriptions transferred over to Express Scripts? Sounds easy, doesn't it? Yeah, I am now on my third week of trying to get these prescriptions transferred. Yeah, this is my third week. Um, so the first thing I did was I contacted Express Scripts. I called them and said, I have two prescriptions that I need to transfer. And on your app, so I went into the app and I thought, is there somewhere in here where you can initiate something? No, there's no nothing in there. So I said, there's nothing in the app about transferring prescriptions to Express Scripts from just like a drugstore. And the first guy I talked to acted like I wasn't even speaking English. He goes, so you're saying, hold on, let me see if I understand what you want. Um, are you saying you have new prescriptions? No, I have prescriptions that are, you know, they are just at two different drug stores. Okay, what do you want us to do? I would like to transfer them. You know, I just got new uh, insurance and I want to transfer them. I've got my Express Scripts card and my number and everything. I just want to transfer them so you guys will start filling it. So you won't, let me, are you trying to transfer prescriptions to a drugstore from Express Scripts? No. Well, Ma'am, what are you trying to do? Because I don't understand. I went, I went around and around with the first guy, and eventually he said, well, we can't do that. We can't help you with that. And I wasn't very confident that this guy knew what the hell he was talking about, so I just said, thank you, never mind, and then I just called back the next day and got somebody else. I got this lady the second time, and I explained the whole thing again to her. I have two prescriptions. One is at Walmart, a Walmart pharmacy, and one is at Costco. I want to take both of those and transfer them to Express Script. What do I need to do? Oh, ma'am, we don't do that. You don't do that. What do you mean you don't do that? You have to talk to, you have to go to the pharmacies and tell them that you want to transfer the prescriptions and then they will contact us. Okay. So, instead, so I'm not like, I'm not going to these pharmacies. I will call them. So, I called the Walmart pharmacy. I would like to transfer this prescription to Express Scripts. And I got this snotty lady and she said, we don't do that. You have to get them to call us. We don't transfer them out. They have to contact us to get the transfer going, which I think is the way it's supposed to go. Wherever you want it to go, they have to call whoever has the prescription. That's the way I've always, that's the way it's always gone for me in the past. They have to call us. Okay, called Costco Pharmacy, same thing. They, Express Scripts has to contact us to transfer this prescription. We don't initiate that. Okay, thank you. That's what I thought. So I called Express Scripts again. And I'm having to do this on my lunch hour, so I'm, I'm pretty pissy about it. Like, this is stupid. I'm tired of wasting my lunch hour on this shit. So the next day, I called Express Scripts. <laughs> my arm itches. So I called them again and got somebody else on the phone. Look. I need to transfer these prescriptions to Express Scripts. And again, they're like, they're acting like this is something they've never heard of before. Like, wow, really? You want to do that? Yeah, I didn't think it would be this hard. So this lady that I talked to was, she talked very slowly and it was killing me. I wanted to reach through the phone and pull the words out of her mouth. Everything that she said Basically, 
was like this. Let me make sure that I understand. She reminded me, of, do, you, do you see the movie Zootopia with the sloth at the DMV? It was kind of like that. It's hilarious if you've never seen that the scene of the sloth at the DMV. That's kind of what it was like. It, I was on the phone with her for, oh my God, probably 20 minutes, and it was killing me. Long story short, she said, we can't do that. I said, okay, okay. Y'all keep telling, everybody I talk to says, we, we can't do that. Somebody has to do something, okay? Y'all are saying that the drugstores need to contact you. The drugstores are saying you need to contact them, and y'all are just not wanting to talk to one another. Hang on. Look at her. She's trying to get it in the right position. No, you're biting it too far back. I got her a new tape measure. It's a little stiff. It's not as floppy as the old one. I don't think it works as well. Do you want the old one back? She about destroyed, she's about destroyed the other one. Boop. Yeah, the other one was coming apart, so I got her a new one. <laughs> Cat, you're crazy. She, it's like she can't quite get it right, because it's a new tape measure and it's kind of stiff. She's working on it, though. Why are you bringing it in here? You look like me when I walk in the kitchen and forgot what I wanted. Why am I in here? Come here. Come here, boob. Come here. Come on. I think she misses me during the day. Do you miss me? I know Pumpkin does. She's always happy to see me. Evie, I don't think, gives a shit either way. Anyway, so I was on the phone with the sloth lady from Express Scripts for about 20 minutes. Long story short, she said, okay, well, what we can do is, and I, I, she was not talking anywhere near this fast. What we can do is we can contact your doctor's office and get them to send us a new prescription. I said, I guess that's what we're going to have to do since apparently you can't contact the drugstores to get the prescriptions and the drugstores are not willing, they're not going to talk to you since y'all can't talk to each other in an age when I, honest to God, thought this would be simple. I thought it would be a, a simple thing. Surely I'm not the first person to do this. Holy shit. So anyway, okay, so I had to, I had to give her, it's two different doctors, like, okay, Here's this doctor's information. I have to look them up. I'm like, oh, fuck. So she has to look up this doctor. Is it Dr. Smith at 123 Main Street in Greensboro? 27404? I'm like, oh, my God, lady, you're killing me. This is my lunch hour. Will you hurry the hell up? So finally, I said, yes, yes, that's the right doctor. And that's the right doctor. And then I, well, what is the name of the medication? Fucking hell. So I had to give her the, man, the, medic, the, the medication. Oh, dear God. Okay, we will contact your doctors right away. Like, no, you won't. So a little later in the day, on about three hours later, I did get an email that one of the prescriptions was sent to Express Scripts. Hallelujah. And it was a couple, it was two or three days later. It, it, this, this, this all just took way too long. So then it got, the other one, they didn't hear, they didn't hear back from one of the doctors right away. So then I had to call Express Scripts again because they wanted to, they wanted me to call back so they could confirm they had the right doctor. And then they tried to call again, and apparently they had the wrong, something was wrong. And we went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I still haven't gotten anything from Express, Express Scripts in the mail. I've gotten nothing from them. 
it was weird too because at first I thought it was going to be fine and then no and then I was told that something was mailed out but I haven't gotten anything so then finally Monday it was Monday I get another email your prescription has been ha, ha, we've received your prescription and we're gonna send it out right away it was the wrong prescription it was like a totally different like what is that I don't even take that what the hell so then I had to call, I tried to call them like, I don't know what you're sending me, but don't, because I don't know whose prescription that is, but it's not mine. Well, it's already been sent. Like, it's not mine. I, what am I supposed to do with it? Look, look at this cat. Boop, are you okay? Why are you looking at me like that? I think she's really sleepy. Are you sleepy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not tired. She's like a little kid. She just refuses to go to sleep. I'm not tired. She is tired. She she refuses to go to sleep. She will fight sleep. <laughs> Cat. I'm not tired. Just admit it. You're tired. I am not. <laughs> so I had to call the doctor's office again. Like, okay, what did y'all... I, I, I can never get anybody on the phone at this one doctor's office. I always have to leave messages. And, okay. So I, I had to call, leave a message like, okay, here's what Express Scripts said y'all called in. Um, that's not my prescription at all. So then, pretty shortly after that, I got another email from Express Scripts. We have your prescription. I'm like, do you though? Do you really? They have it, but it's the wrong strength. It's my thyroid medication. It's the wrong strength. My neighbors are being loud. What in the hell? Somebody out there yelling. So I don't know how many prescriptions I have coming. They had got, they had already mailed it out according to the email. They got the new prescription and they have already they've already shipped it. And they're charging me for this shit. I gotta go in there and take my credit card out. Like y'all need to quit charging me for stuff. Um, so they're sending they're sending my my thyroid medication, but it's not the right strength. It's the wrong strength. So I have to I'm gonna have to call the doctor's office again tomorrow and try to figure out what in the hell is going on. Like who 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 I thought this would be simple. I mean I've had prescriptions transferred from one drugstore to another before, and it's never been a problem. It's always been a very simple thing to do. It's basically like one phone call. Hey, can y'all call this drugstore and get this prescription sent over? Yeah, sure, no problem. And they do. And then that's the end of it. And I go pick it up, and that's it. No, not with, not with Express Scripts. If I ever do get it straightened out, though, it'll be really great because then they'll just mail me the stuff, and I don't have to go pick it up anymore. That also means I don't have to go to Costco I kind of like going to Costco, but I don't really like to go unless I have to go. Like if I have a reason to be there, I never have a reason to be there. I don't need anything from there. I stop and get gas there occasionally, but that's usually early in the morning before Costco opens. Their, their parking, their gas pumps are still all torn up. Um, they're, they're still working on it. It's still a mess over there. It's awful. But, um, so I don't know. I'm still dealing with Express Scripts, and um, this started during my second week of employment. When I got the I got the card, the little Express Scripts card in the mail, and I immediately thought, well, let me go ahead and transfer these two prescriptions so I can start getting them by mail because that would be really, really convenient. I don't have to go pick them up anymore, and that would be great. No. No, there. I think there are three different prescriptions headed my way right now, and none of them. One of them might be correct. I'm not sure. I mean, because I go on the app and I look, and it's like a totally different name. I think it's right, but I don't know. One of two of them I know are not right, and they've already been mailed. So I'm gonna have to contact them about how do I? How, can I return these to you? I mean, I realize you can't give them to anybody else, but I just don't think I should have to pay for these because they're not, these these aren't mine. These are not my prescriptions, so I don't see I don't see why I should have to pay for them because I'm not going to be taking them. I mean, what am I supposed to do with them? I'm going to have to dispose of them, I guess, because I have no use for them. So, 
I don't know. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. That and trying to learn a new job and I have new neighbors. Okay. I don't feel so bad about the neighbors anymore. Okay. I have tried to wave to these people. They ignore me. They ignore me. I think they're sore because I didn't talk to them when they, when I first, when they first moved in. But I have made an effort to talk to them and now they won't talk to me. They, 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 maybe that's just the way they are. Maybe they just don't want to talk to anyone but themselves. And that's fine. Honey, that's fine. I will ignore I will ignore them so hard they'll start to doubt their own existence. I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm really, really good at ignoring people. You want me to ignore you? I will ignore you. I will ignore you with artistic flair because I'm really good at it. Yeah. It comes from living in a dysfunctional home, uh, four years of which my father wouldn't speak to me and ignored me, and I got really good at, you know, being ignored and ignoring right back. So... I can I can handle that. But anyway, no, they don't speak. I tried. They have they they have no they won't even look at me. Like they just it's weird. It's kind of weird. I can boop. Look at her. She's tired. Boop. You're tired. Just admit it. It's okay. Everybody gets tired. I'm not tired. It's okay to be tired. I'm not tired. <laughs> I had two little boys that were just like you when they were small. I'm not sleepy. I don't need a nap. Yes, you do. I do not. <laughs> Fighting it. Trust me, when you get older, you be looking forward to naps. Boop. Boop. Hey, kitty. You gonna come get in my face again? You gonna come get in my face again? Why do you look mad? You look like Godzilla when you make that face. Hey. Ugh. <laughs> Cat. Kitty. Hey, kitty. Yeah, I got my gym shoes up here. Sorry. They're fine. I took them out of my gym bag. Cat, cat. So yeah, look at my look at my little check out my little spoon man over there. I bought him at the churchyard sale. Yeah, it's a work of art, and so you can see where I've kind of painted some more on the paint by numbers thing. You going back at it? No. Boop. <laughs> oh, kitty. Nice cat. Oh shit. I guess I better go get that. Good job. You know, um, I don't know if you know. Well, if you've been here for a while, you know that uh, I smoked for 18 years when I was younger. From about the age of 18 to about 36. Off and on. More on than off. And I quit about, what... 11, over 11 years ago now, I quit smoking. And I used a, an e-cigarette to quit smoking. And I know a lot of people poo-poo those things and say, oh, they're terrible and you shouldn't use those. But that was the one thing that helped me quit. And I even quit using it over two years ago. I, I didn't even really use it at all. Um, but during the last two, three, the last two months especially, I've been going through a lot of stress. And I did. I didn't start smoking again. I didn't, but I started using. And I started using the little my little e-cigarette thing again. And I had to buy new, new supplies and everything for it. This is my menthol breeze juice. It doesn't have any. Uh, it doesn't have any nicotine in it at all. It's just the flavor. But it it simulates smoking close enough that I don't. I don't want to smoke. So. Um, that was always my downfall when, when, um, you know, I could quit smoking, but as soon as I got stressed out, that's when I would rationalize, like, I'll just go buy a pack, I'll just smoke a few, and I'll throw the rest away, which never happened. And then I started smoking again. So, but these things keep me from smoking. So, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it at all. But, uh, yeah, I'm back on that again. 
I don't use it much. I only take a few drags off of it in the morning and then later at night, and that's it. I don't take it with me. It stays here during the day, and I don't use it during the day, just, you know, when I'm here. and It's just, you know, a little bit, and there's no nicotine at all, so. But it's enough to keep me from wanting to go out and buy a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> so, I'm getting my hair done, and I'm getting my brows done. I'm getting my brows redone on Friday. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what, though, that tent held on. Now, I've washed my face. I don't have anything on my face except a little bit of toner. Well, no, it's a serum. That's it. And that, now, I had that done five weeks. Was it five weeks ago? It was about five weeks ago. I had them threaded and tinted, and that tent really held on. It was amazing. I was really impressed, so I'm going to go back and get it done again. And so, that's it. It's just kind of a week, you know. But I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. I'm still learning. And uh, it'll get better. It'll get better. I mean, it's already better. Hell, I already know more now than I did just a few days ago. So, But it's just a lot to learn. And, and I'll get there. There's really no good way to do it. You just got to jump in and start learning. I mean, some jobs are like that. You just You just have to get in there and start doing it. And you learn as you go. And that's it. So, um, this video is all over the place. I don't know what to think of it, but I hope your week is going well. We have really nice weather here. It's supposed to be really pretty until the weekend, and then it's supposed to start raining again, of course, because it rains on the weekend a lot here for some reason. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. I hope your week is awesome, and thank you for being here, and I will see you again soon.